uh, here with Coach Fatusi. Coach, uh, explosion in the third period. you got to be uh, pleased with the killer instinct there. Yeah, you know, I was. Obviously, the last three games when things aren't going well for you, you're, you're wondering if you're ever going to win a hockey game. And our first two periods weren't very good. I mean, there's no getting around that. We weren't good through 40 minutes, but it was nice that we were able to pick it up and, and find a way to win a hockey game because we've been finding ways to lose them here as of late. As a former goalie yourself, uh, talk about Kent Simpson bouncing back from a, from an eight-goal game here, only giving up two tonight. Yeah, and I'm sure he'd probably like to have one of them back. And, and uh, but he made some huge saves for us, you know, and, and uh, uh, especially once we got the once we got to tie um, in a tie game. I mean, he made huge saves. We took the lead, still had to make some in tight big saves. So it was nice to see him rebound. One streak ends the losing streak, but uh, the home winning streak extends. Well, it's nice, you know. Obviously, uh, you want to win at home. You want to be impressive in front of your fans, and, and uh, um, you know. But we'll take wins wherever we can get them right now. But. Uh, Happy, happy with the third period, but we got work to do. You uh, have some highly skilled forwards, and I thought it showed some of those goals tonight were particularly pretty. Yeah, they were, and uh, it's frustrating, though, again, being an old goaltender that uh, we're in great scoring opportunities at times, and we pass them away, too. So you, you respect the creativity. Um, when it works, it looks great, but, um, you know, sometimes greasy goals off of shin pads, like we saw the fifth goal go in, are just as effective as tic-tac-toe goals, too. And I think we give up a lot of opportunity to get uh, just, just blue-collar goals at times.